All right, so here we are in questchain.io, provide support for in-game transactions, uh, provide coin output to players for trading through the Yes Power algorithm. What is Quest Chain? In-game transactions should be secure and anonymous as a virtual currency, secure storage, technical support, generous rewards, investment projects, simple payments, and of course, mining on the Yes Power algorithm. Again, CPU mineable coin here. So for all you CPU miners out there, might be something you wanna hop on and uh, pick up a quick bag for. Why Quest Chain? Game payments become simpler. No need for PayPal or others, just direct virtual currency transactions, low transaction fees, I think every coin says that, protect identity, secure and anonymous, uh, support for multiple platforms, payments available for mobile games, PC, browser games and even VR. Of course, this isn't all built out yet, but again, this is gonna be their plans. I believe their roadmap is right here. Cryptocurrencies have become widespread and we wanna establish a connection between games and cryptocurrencies. I think there's a lot of projects out there like this. So here we are in May right now, of course, research, releasing the wallets, start mining. Of course, the start of mining, uh, maybe, maybe two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. Ideas, publishing the white paper, again, that probably should have been done beforehand. October of this year, beta tests, improving integration, documentation. So it looks like here in February of 2025, they got the game alpha testing begins, in-game transactions using QCH. And then a little bit after that, May, integrating an API for more games. So again, this looks like a project dedicated to in-game transactions using the QCH currency. Um, I'm gonna go with a, a scale of one to 10 as far as this one actually panning out in the future. Maybe a 50-50 on this one, guys. Quite a few different type of projects. I don't know how that's gonna be integrated with different types of games. Is this gonna be all games on their own blockchain or is this going to be integrating cross-chain you know, for like Ethereum and stuff like that. I don't know, I guess that kind of info will be coming out in the actual white paper. And this is just a little Q and A, little facts section on their actual website. And that's about all there is. They do have a Discord and a Twitter. Again, everything I'm talking about will be down below. Right now though, we're gonna dive into and see how to mine this coin. The first thing we're gonna need, of course, is a wallet over here on GitHub. Just scroll down right here. I got a Windows machine. Just go ahead and click on Windows right there. If you got Ubuntu, you can go ahead and download that link right there as well. Of course, they have the source code. If you wanna go ahead and dive in and check that out. So I put this on my Nvidia rig as usual, and I put it in its own folder, wallets, Quest Chain right there. You just go ahead and double click on the Quest Chain QT and it'll go ahead and pop up. It'll look just like this. You can see I've uh, earned about 28.39 Quest Chain for right now. I've only been mining this for maybe four hours on this coin right now. So go ahead and click on receive. If you don't want to enter what um, label you want right there, you don't have to, just go ahead and click request payment. This little box will go ahead and pop up here in a sec. And there's gonna be your wallet address right there. Just click copy address and you'll be good to go for the miner. So speaking of miners, I'm using again, SRB miner, which is going to be right over here. And you would just go ahead and click download, go ahead and put it on your machine. And I put that in its own folder like I normally do. Didn't want to pop that one up. Miner's right here. It's going to be SRB miner quest chain. I do have the bat file for the miner down below. So you guys can uh, hop on and mine this coin as quick as you possibly can. But I'll show you this real quick. So again, you've got your wallet address. You're gonna have to go ahead and change that right there. Uh, .nvidia rig, just a rig identifier. It's what I like to do so I can see myself easier on the pool. I am on our plant right now. There are other pools. If you go over to here, Zerg pool. That was kind of a, it's kind of a pain in the ass to figure out how to connect to Zerg pool. Look, if you're out there and watching this and you have an actual pool, make it as easy as possible for miners to go ahead and connect like for example, I'm over here on our plant, even though you should probably try and spread around the hash rate a little bit. But again, our plant made it easy. You go over, select whatever coin you want on the side. And there's a little button right here that says connect. And it makes it nice and easy for you to go ahead and connect. It creates a little bat file, the whole nine. If you're running a pool, you should make it as easy as possible for miners to get up and going on your pool. They shouldn't have to hunt around and try and figure this out. You should have a nice little connect button right there that does everything for you. Just enter a couple of details like a wallet address. So connect, you enter your wallet address right there, choose your miner, 
operating system, your stratum, whatever country you're in, and boom, it'll go ahead and pop the miner script up right there. So again, this is my little rant for you all out there who are running pools. Make it as easy as possible for the miner to go ahead and connect and get up and going on your pool. So as you can see, I've been here for about three hours now mining on this coin. But again, let's head back over to the miner. Again, once you go ahead and change your actual pool and wallet address, you just save it as a .bat file. You can name it whatever you want. Just make sure it's a .bat file or it will not work. And once you do that, you just go ahead and double click on that right there. And the miner will go ahead and pull up and start mining. And it should be right there, right here. So again, CPU, I've got almost one mega hash going on this. Of course, it's not a top of the line CPU on this machine. I'm sure you guys out there rabid mining can really smoke it with the actual hash rate mining on these CPU coins. But again, this is what the actual miner looks like. And again, once you have the miner going, submit a few couple of shares, make sure you go over to pool and make sure you are connected. And as you can see, NVIDIA right there. So you should be good to go. And of course, I already showed you, if you don't want to use our plant, there is Zerg pool, Z pool, et cetera, et cetera, on down the line if you want to go ahead and change pools and spread the hash rate around. All right, so what is the price of Quest Chain? Well, it's only on one exchange right now, and it's going to be Zegex. It is on CoinRankingRightHere.com. And as you can see, it's, it's only been out for maybe, what, almost two weeks right now on an exchange. And it's at 0 0.000837, at least as of making this video. It did uh, top out here at about 0 0.0013, and of course it's gone down. Looks like it's going to level out about right where it is right now. So as far as future price on this, it's only been out on the exchange for two weeks, so that is kind of hard to predict. But it is good, and it is kind of leveled off right here, so maybe that's going to be kind of a, uh, a floor right in that area. That's what it's sitting at right now. Of course, it could go down. You never know with these things. So if I do a little math, I've been mining this, like I said, for about three hours. And I go back over to our plant, and I've been paid out about 28. So if I do a little quick math, 28 times... I've made about two cents on this in about three hours on this CPU. Wow. All right. So again, you guys with huge CPU mining farms, you guys can probably go ahead and kill it on this coin. It's not too bad. Two cents for a couple of hours on that small little cpu take that over the course of a day you're talking about 16 cents is not too bad at all as far as my little cpu is concerned if you're looking for another cpu mine of a coin check this video out right here or if you're looking at a great gpu coin of mine check this one out right here